In this video, I'm gonna be giving you the best tips and tricks for your brand new Apple Watch Series 5. This is everything you need to become an Apple Watch expert in one video. Let's get started. Brand new to the Apple Watch Series 5 and Watch OS 6 is you now actually have the calculator app right here on your Apple Watch that wasn't here before. Now that's not necessarily a hidden feature, but the hidden feature is that you can now quickly calculate tips directly using your Apple Watch in the calculator app. So watch this, let's say you have a $125 meal, you wanna calculate a tip, just press that tip button right up here and this is essentially the hidden feature and tip that you guys can use. You see here, it gives you the 20% tip. It tells you what the tip is. You can also change the number of people to. Let's say you wanted to decrease the tip a little bit. You can use the crown to do that, or you can increase it if you had some good service. So you can see exactly how to tip people right here on the Apple Watch, and you can even divide the bill among multiple people. Let's say you had three or four people there. It'll tell you how much each of you needs to pay. This is a great hidden feature right here in the Apple Watch. It's that tip icon. Just type in the number, click tip, and then you can calculate a tip directly here from your Apple Watch. It's that easy. You can now view Safari websites directly from the Apple Watch. This is really convenient when you're trying to ask Siri something. So watch this. Salmon recipes. I found this on the web. And you can scroll through, take a look at each of the recipes here, but the new feature is you can actually click this open page button, just like so, and actually get to the web page itself right here on your Apple Watch. So it'll take a couple seconds just to load. And as you can see, we now have the entire recipe from that web page of how to make salmon. It's that easy to go to a specific web page right here on your Apple Watch. I'm gonna show you how to access the secret zoom functionality on your Apple Watch. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is open up your Apple Watch app and you're gonna scroll down until you get to accessibility. You can see that we have zoom is currently off. You're going to want to turn that on. Now you can also change the zoom amount. I'm just gonna keep it by default at 5X, but you can increase that as well. So now when you have your Apple Watch, just like so, as you can see, it says zoom enabled. Now, let's say you're going to a website like we showed you earlier, that's a great hidden feature, pulling up a website. So let's say we're going to Apple. Visit apple.com. I found this on the web. And we're gonna scroll down, we're gonna click open page like so. Obviously, we're going into the browser here. Now, normally, you just have to scroll through, take a look at everything, but let's say you have a, a web page that has smaller text that you wanna read, uh, or it's really set up for computer devices. You can actually zoom in just by tapping with two fingers like so and moving around. You can see that we actually zoomed in on the web page. We can go and take a closer look. So just double tap with two fingers like so to zoom in and actually take the, a wider view at that page. It's a great way you can actually combine two of the hidden features that we showed you together. So one other great hidden feature of this is you don't have to go all the way onto your phone to enable and disable Zoom from the settings in here. Let's say you wanna turn on and off that functionality by default. If you scroll down to the bottom of accessibility and go to accessibility shortcut, you can enable triple clicking the digital crown for Zoom. So choose that and then what you can do when you have your Apple Watch just like so, is if you triple click the crown, one, two, three, you can actually enable and disable Zoom, just like that. That way you have the feature when you want it, but you don't have it when you don't want it. You can zoom in. Now it's not just on the watch faces, we showed you how you can do this on websites as well. So that's a great way you can automatically enable and disable without even having to open up your phone. So with your Apple Watch and the screen always being on, that is a great thing. But what you can do is you can decide to hide sensitive complications from your watch face, right? And so if we go here into your Apple Watch and we go to brightness and text size, and then you can see here that we have always on, the Apple Watch face is always on, so that's the watch itself. And of course, you can obviously change you know, the brightness, text size, all of these settings right in here as well. That's something you'll probably want to customize. But what you could do is go in here, and as you can see, the watch face is always on, which is a good thing, but 
you might want to hide sensitive complications. So if you choose hide sensitive complications, then uh, data such as your calendar appointments, your heart rate, that could be hidden when you put your wrist down like that, right? When you're not looking at it that way, other people can't get, catch a glimpse of your sensitive information. This is definitely a hidden feature you're gonna wanna look into, especially if you're concerned with somebody seeing something that you don't want them to see. I definitely recommend testing out the brand new voice recordings app right here on your Apple Watch. You can actually now do voice memos directly from your Apple Watch. Watch this. All you have to do is tap the record button to record voice memos right here on your Apple Watch. And click stop and as you can see you can have all of the different recordings that you do that you can play back even send off to your devices you can share it here and you can also delete as well so that's the way that you can actually store voice memos right here on your apple watch another new app for watch os 6 is the noise app so this actually allows you to measure sound in your area and actually hear how loud the noise is. That way you can make sure that you're protecting your ears, you're staying away from dangerously loud noises that could damage your hearing. So this is a very unique extra app right here on your Apple Watch. This next feature is a little more serious and I encourage everybody who is watching this right now to set this up just to be safe. Uh, this is Emergency SOS and hopefully none of you watching ever need to use this, but this could save you from a dangerous situation. So I recommend everybody watching this right now to set up Emergency SOS. You're gonna go into your Apple Watch app on your iPhone, click on Emergency SOS, and as you can see here, you wanna make sure that you enable automatic dialing. You wanna turn this on. It might be off by default. You wanna turn this on, automatic dialing, in order to call emergency services if you press and hold the side button. And you also want to turn on fall detection so that Apple Watch can automatically call emergency uh, services if it detects that you fall. Now, again, it will give you a slight warning beforehand. So it'll say, hey, or do you really want to do that? Like, you know, if you're, if you're conscious, right, you can say, hey, no, nope, no, nope, this is a false alarm. But if you're unconscious, it will automatically call emergency services if you fall and you have the ability to hold the side button. Now, the reason that I recommend everybody watching this turn that on is think about that. If you find yourself, hopefully you never do, but if you find yourself in a dangerous situation, all you have to do is press and hold on that side button to call emergency services, or if you take a fall and you can't press and hold that side button, the Apple Watch will automatically detect that you fell and call emergency services on your behalf. So I really think it's better to be safe than sorry. That's why I recommend going here into your Apple Watch settings, going to Emergency SOS, and enabling both the automatic dialing by holding the side button and fall detection. Hopefully you never have to use this, but I encourage all of you to set this up just in case, just to be safe. It's Emergency SOS right here for your Apple Watch. Your new Apple Watch Series 5 comes with a variety of new watch faces as well. Of course, the first being this incredible Meridian face that has the multicolor. Obviously, it fades away uh, when you're not looking at it as much. You can see it goes from that white to a uh, darker color. Now, what you can do is you can go ahead and customize. You can actually change the dial color itself, right? You can also go in, change from multicolor to red to orange. You can actually set up a certain type of color that you want all of your dials to be. I do like the multicolor though. I think it makes it pop, it adds that extra edge. Then of course you can go through and you can change the individual complications, obviously going through each of these and choosing which one uh, you want. So you could choose the date, you can obviously choose UV, and UV index, you can even add voice memos, walkie talkie. Now another cool feature as well is you can go through and you can actually add in, not just on here, if we scroll through, we're going through a lot of these. Uh, but what we could do is we can actually add in the calculator and that way we can easily calculate tips like we showed you earlier right here from the watch face itself. So that's another great way that you can add that to the complication. Obviously, once you're done, just tap the digital crown. So now we can much more quickly access the calculator where we can calculate tips. So that's the first watch face we want to show you. Obviously, the Meridian watch face right here on the Apple Watch Series 5. 
All right, I hope you guys are enjoying this video on the best tips and tricks for your brand new Apple Watch Series 5. We have many more tips and tricks coming up very soon. But first, I wanted to show you an incredible app that lets you earn money just for completing simple surveys. Uh, they're the sponsor of this episode, and we're gonna show you how you can start earning money today just by taking simple surveys on your phone. So now I'm gonna show you how you can get this incredible app in order to earn cash and rewards just for completing simple surveys on your iPhone. So open up your mobile Safari browser and go to this exact URL. It's bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y slash get quick thoughts, just like this. B-I-T dot L-Y slash G-E-T Q-U-I-C-K T-H-O-U-G-H-T-S. And the link is also down there in the description as well and then click go. Be sure to go to this link. It helps to support our show, but it will also make sure that you get the best surveys and rewards right here on Quick Thoughts when you download it and be able to get those additional bonus missions right there at the beginning or bonus surveys uh, to be able to sign up. So go into Quick Thoughts and then click open. And then as you can see, you're able to get the Quick Thoughts app. This app allows you to complete surveys, earn rewards, earn cash, gift cards, you're gonna go ahead and click sign up at the bottom left. And then as you can see, they love opinions, click register, and then click agree to the terms and conditions. And as you can see here, Quick Thoughts has already given out over $21 million to members. That's absolutely incredible. You can earn cash rewards just for using this app. So click begin earning rewards, fill out a couple of details of your information just so they know a little bit more about you so that they can serve you the best surveys. And that's what you're gonna be able to use right here in Quick Thoughts. Uh, and as you can see, you're gonna be able to click begin earning rewards and get your piece of over $21 million that they've given out. Now, if we go back to the App Store, you can see a little bit of what that looks like. As you can see, you can earn rewards just by taking really simple surveys. And a very simple survey could earn you a few dollars each and they also have different missions, surveys that you can do. There's all kinds of surveys in the Quick Thoughts app and you can cash out right away once you've gone through and completed the survey. So I highly recommend going to bit.ly slash getquickthoughts. They're our sponsor for this episode, but it's also a great win-win because you're going to learn how to earn amazing cash and rewards just for completing simple surveys right here on your iPhone. Enjoy. One of the other first things you're gonna to wanna to try with the new Apple Watch is actually tapping the screen in order to get it to tell you the time. So just tap with two fingers and it'll tell you the time. 5.41 p.m. Just like so. It's a really cool feature that they've now added with the brand new Apple Watch. You can have it say the time whenever you wanna hear 5 it. 5.41 p.m. Just like that. So you probably already knew about the ability to ping your iPhone if it's lost, right? So you can actually just swipe up to the control center, tap on ping your iPhone like so. And it will have this sound that goes off so that you can be able to find your phone. What you may not know is let's say you left this uh, at night or in a dark place, right? And you want to be able to find it not just with sound but with light as well. Well, if you press harder, if you 3D touch, on the, uh, the ping iPhone button, you can actually have the light go off on your phone as well, making it much easier to find. So just force press on there. And as you can see, the flash goes off on your phone, making it easier to find at night in the dark. So the next hidden feature we have is actually gonna have you have to go to your Apple Watch app on your iPhone. If you go to general, you can scroll down until you see enable screenshots. This is gonna allow you to take screenshots from your Apple Watch itself. So select enable screenshots, and now what you can do on your Apple Watch is if you press the digital crown and the side button at the same time, you could take a screenshot of your Apple Watch face, but you do need to enable it. That's why it's a hidden feature I recommend checking out. One of the first things you may wanna do when you get your Apple Watch is make sure that the text size and brightness, that all meets your standards. So you can see here, you can actually change the brightness, the default brightness on your Apple Watch to actually increase it even brighter right here in your settings. So you just open up your Apple Watch app, then you're gonna to go to brightness and text size. You can see here that you can actually increase the brightness, 
keep it at the normal rate or even decrease the brightness and that might help save your battery life as well. So this is up to you. One of the things that I like to do though is I did go ahead and increase that brightness just so I can make sure I can always see my Apple Watch, especially on a bright day. Now you can also increase or decrease the text size if you want. So as you can see, that's gonna actually increase the text size on your device. You can even make it bold to make it a little bit easier to see as well. That's all right here in the brightness and text size settings of your Apple Watch app on your iPhone. So you probably already knew about the default replies that you have right at the bottom when you're trying to send a message to somebody on your Apple Watch. It makes it so much easier to send a quick message. You got the hello, what's up, okay, sounds good. And it will even automatically give you what's called smart replies that make sense in the context of a conversation, right? And so this is a great way to respond. But what you may not know, and the hidden feature I wanted to show you, this is a great tip for you guys to use, is that you can actually create your own custom default replies to show up in this list on your Apple Watch. You could do that using your iPhone. So if we pull the iPhone over here with the Apple Watch app, all you gotta do is scroll down to the messages folder, just like so. So click on messages. And then you can actually see that there is an option for default replies. If you click on that, you can see that we do have smart replies on, so it'll contextually let you know, you know what's the best reply based on what's already been said in the conversation. But if you go to the bottom, you can see that you can actually add your own reply, right? Like, you know, sounds good, whatever it happens to be. So you can add your own replies. That one's probably already in there already, but you can add those. And then these are extra replies that you can have on your Apple Watch. When you're scrolling through, you'll be able to see these replies show up in that field, right? So if you scroll through, you'll be able to see, and once it syncs, you'd be able to see sounds good at the bottom of this list of replies. Thanks for watching our video on the best tips and tricks for your new Apple Watch Series 5. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Share the video with your friends so they can find the best tips and tricks as well. And be sure to check out Quick Thoughts. Obviously we showed you this at bit.ly slash getquickthoughts. Link on the screen and in the description. Members have earned over $21 million just by completing simple surveys. They're the sponsor for this episode, but they're also a really great app where you can earn money. So hopefully you guys found this valuable. Let us know what your favorite uh, tips and tricks are in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe for more great Apple Watch content, and we'll see you guys in the next video.